again with another video how you guys doing i hope everyone is staying home as you can see i'm staying home because i ain't trying to get sick so let's be good do a good deed if you know you have this virus stay home quarantine yourself take care of you try your best to fight it and if it gets worse call the emergency line so let us be our brother's keepers and keeping each other safe so we can save more lives. So let's get right into this video. As it says, tips of things to do for self-improvement in your spare time. Number one tip I will say, you need to get a routine schedule and you need to be consistent with that schedule. I think it gives you like a structure of what you need to do for the day. If you have to plan it the night before, go right ahead and do it. It does help you out. So my first tip is to get that routine schedule ready for you. You can do some research of what it's like for you, what you want to accomplish for that day. The second tip, what you guys think it is? Waking up early. What's the saying again? The early yes the early bird catches the worm so you have to wake up early so waking up early for me i've recently started doing this after listening to some audio uh, motivational speakers they're so amazing and everyone is saying the same thing you need to learn to have this habit of waking up early and it works it gets you ahead of the day you feel, it just makes you feel different. Like you're more relaxed. You feel like your day is going to be great, especially if you started on a nice note. You know, you do your meditation, you pray, you're able to get up and have your tea, your coffee, whatever you like at the cup, at your dining table and just enjoy that moment just to yourself before the whole world wakes up before there's all these crazy news going left and right. When I say to wake up early, don't pick up your phone and trying to read what's going on in the world. Leave that out, you know, give yourself that time to just soak in, be grateful, pray, read a book, read your Bible. I always start with my prayer and reading at least, I find, I take a book and I read like about five scriptures and really understand it see what it's saying and if i don't get it i go i google search it and try to find some summary or look for commentary on that on that chapter so it really helps me out to really understand what that scripture is telling me and how i can apply it to my life so waking up early and it just helps you to be ahead of everything and it just makes everything flows from there on. And when you have kids, you need to take that time to yourself. Don't do nothing. Just relax, enjoy some tea, coffee before the house wakes up because it's gonna be a hard time after that. <laughs> the next thing I would say, you need to get organized. Now that we all are being locked in in our house, it's a time for you to organize that closet you've been putting off for so long. You know that. That kitchen cupboard you've been saying you're going to clean for the longest. Now is the time to do that. You know, take this time to get organized, tidy up. You don't have to do everything at one time. One day, today, you do your closet. Tomorrow, you do the kitchen cupboard. The next day, you do... Your fridge, you do your living room, you do it piece by piece, but use this time that we are all having now to just organize things around the house. You may be bored of, oh, I don't have nothing to do, or you're so busy on social media, just scrolling, scrolling, scrolling all day long, doing nothing, and a whole day pass by. Don't worry, I'm guilty of that, because I'll do it. <laughs> but yeah, so do that. Get yourself organized, tidy up, do laundry, fold, iron, Organize yourself. Try to make your room look a little cute. Like my own. I need to do that. And I'm going to get you, you guys a tour when I'm done. 
but right now it's bare as you all can see <laughs> but yes another thing for you to do is to make sure you are staying healthy because we are all home so we think we can splurge up on eating all this food you guys are gonna regret it so take the time to eat healthy making sure that you you know get your daily fruits and vegetable and drink lots lots and lots of water and with this virus going on please do boost up your immune system by making sure you eat get a lot of your vitamin C so it's very important that you do that so that with eating healthy it also goes right into my next point which is exercise because I'm like oh I can't exercise the kids the this the that going back to point number two getting up early that could be something you do when you wake up early exercise do a 30 minutes workout stretch do some squats do some planks do some sit-ups that's thing that you can do when you wake up early to boost yourself because this is something that you want to do for self-improvement you want to do this so why not start doing things relating to yourself to your body instead of focusing about everybody else this is about you now right good so without any further ado my next point is spend time reading all of that going right back to point number two when you wake up early find time to read read something read a book read your Bible you know it's good to read and it's good to learn stuff every now and then well all the time it's always good to keep learning because with that you never stop learning so take your time and read a book find something that you love read something that you're interested in not because somebody recommended or you know you want to you know well anyways whatever you want to read but just read <laughs> right so we are gonna go to my next point all of you are gonna love this unwind with some wine <laughs> i don't know why i was thinking that when i said it in my head it sounded funny but anyways yes enjoy yourself a glass of wine when the kids are taking a nap the hubby is playing his game. You find some wine, put it in a glass. I, I I forgot to get my hot wine. But anyway, I can't drink no wine right now because I'm breastfeeding. I have a six month old, so yeah. But yeah, enjoy some wine, just relax. You know, sit in your, in your front porch, your garden. Just enjoy that wine while the, you know, your kids are doing their thing, your hubby or whoever else is doing his thing. And you just take that time, just enjoy something, a glass of something that you love, okay? You deserve it. After all these years working so hard, and you've been asking for time off, this is, this is God's plan. This is God's plan to answer your prayer. All right, guys, I'm back again. Sorry about that. I had to take a little pause because my daughter woke up and I had to feed her, but she's back to sleep. She's such a cutie. Look at her. The picture <laughs> but yes yeah, so the last thing that I was talking about was drinking some wine to unwind yourself and enjoy it because you do need it right after all these years working all these months working so definitely if you don't drink wine drink something else but you know that's one of my lists and another thing that you need to do that is on my list I believe that's number nine is to meal prep it's very important that you meal prep especially when you're trying to improve the way you live trying to improve things in your life you need some sort of structure and meal prepping really helps you especially if you're in and about trying to get in and out of the house real quick but at this moment we are not it's also good to meal prep now that way to avoid. meal prepping is good for this kind of time the fact that there's some of you that have so many people living in your house or it could be three, four, five, how many? It's good to meal prep so that way the food doesn't run out. Although there are supermarkets that are open, but then you have to think smart. You don't be panic buying for no reason. You panic buying and the food only lasts for like a couple of days, three days. What sense does that make in you're spending so much money? So 
you know, meal prep, have something prepared for lunch for the next three to four days, however you want to do it, five days, it's up to you. There's so many ideas of what you can do to meal prep for the week, for a couple of days, and that way, things, you're able to get a management of what is being eaten in the house and you're controlling things. So all of this is to help you not to make things hard on you. So I do hope you guys are really taking this serious and taking down my tips. And if you do like it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And of course, my last tip to you, my 10 tip for you today is to spend time with positive loved ones. Because we all know there are some people that are very negative. There are some families that only bring drama and stress to your life. So that is why the key word here is positive. Loved ones, spend time with these people. That begins with your children. I feel as if children bring so much joy into people's lives. So it's important to spend time with these kids. Like I love spending time with my girls. My girl, Renea, she is full of joy. She's amazing. And when I sit down and just watch her play, or I watch a movie with her in the night, or we play a game together, oh my gosh, the bonding is so amazing. So find time to spend time with your kids. Well, you have time now, so it's not like finding time. You have time, so spend time with your kids, your loved one, when the kids are asleep, do something romantic and do a nice dinner, just the two of you while the kids are asleep and just enjoy the time together, watch a movie together. You know, take a bath together, whatever you want to do, I don't know. <laughs> so you do it. And close friends, you know, call a friend out. If they're far away, a bit close to you, now that you can't leave your house and, you know, they prefer to stay home, do a group chat and you guys just chat and, you know, whatever you want to do, gossip on the phone, talk about other people whatever but you know make sure it's positive people that see the goodness in you that brings out the goodness in you and that's just a good friend and giving you advice and you know if you have somebody that's literally just constantly gossiping all the time then obviously you need some change of friends not that I'm saying that that person is bad but sometimes you need to have some levels of friendship you have this person you can go to to just crack around you have this one you can go to talk some serious business but then at the end of the day most of your friends should be kind of on the same maturity level so spend time with those loved ones and enjoy it and you know and try to be consistent with this list really do i really do you guys hope you guys are taking those you know tips down and applying it to your life and see what happened. You have to be consistent. You have to give it a try. If you never try, you won't know if it will work. So as long as you try and it don't work, at least you know you try. But I guarantee you, if you start, you won't want to stop. That's what got me here today. So without further ado, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys. Don't forget to give your girls a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell because I have a lot of more videos coming your way.